Okay, so here we are in the Portland Art Museum, uh, European paintings. And I kind of like to just go around the room and ask, ask you to notice the colors. You have some nice vivid blues, but a lot of muted earth tones. The only blue we're really seeing is the sky. And then we come to this piece right here. And this is Il Femme Yellow, painted by Giuseppe Bonito sometime between 1740 and 1760. And this is the only known example of a feminine yellow depicted in a work of art uh, prior to, I think prior to the advent of photography. Uh, it's the only one that I can find. If you Google feminine yellow, just the term, this is one of the first and only things that comes up in English search results. And this is an example of a Neapolitan genre painting, hence the bright colors, hence this guy here sort of beckoning us into the painting by looking out at the viewer. And there's the feminine yellow. So a few things to notice here that relate to what we've already talked about. This goiter here on the feminine yellow's neck, that is a result of living in poverty and having poor health care and diet. So this indicates their marginalized role uh, at the same time that they are considered valuable or lucky in Neapolitan society. This indicates where they lived in the slums. This red necklace here of coral beads is another sign of good fortune and luck. So this guy probably has the feminine yellow coming with him to go gambling. Uh, so the feminine yellow will bring him luck. Uh, now, there's a lot to talk about with this painting, which is, you know, why I chose it. Uh, notably, the Portland Art Museum prioritized acquiring this painting uh, because it's an example of crossing the gender binary, which I thought was interesting. Now, Bonito, the, the painter, the artist, I wasn't able to find much about him. I found a biography uh, in, a, in an auction, actually, of one of his paintings. There's a biography of him on this auction website, which I'll include in my sources. He was well known in this time period in uh, 18th century Naples. He did a lot of these kind of genre paintings, the brightness, the whimsy, and he painted in the King's Court uh, and was possibly influential in the time of this painting. I wasn't able to figure out who the audience for this painting was, uh, but we can imagine that it is potentially for, for nobles who are interested in vivacious scenes of peasant life or of like commoner life. And the question that we might take away from this as we look at the feminine yellow, and I'll just sort of take you around the painting. Love the, the negative space in there. But as we, as we look at this painting, we see sort of maybe some tears on the clothes and as we look at this person, this individual uh, that Bonito either modeled um, someone to dress like a feminine yellow or actually painted a feminine yellow. Again, I, I didn't find anything on the models. Um, we have to ask ourselves, is this supposed to be comical? And potentially, yes, because of the look on this guy's face, because of sort of the overt masculinity of the feminine yellow when compared to this uh, more typical male figure. Uh, this this feminine yellow seems more masculine. But I would argue that because this is a very distinct genre of painting that emphasizes, again, like a welcoming warmth and a brightness, even a sense of just everyday comedy or joy, I don't necessarily think that this is condescending, uh, but it might potentially be. And that is something that we will have to be aware of when we look at how gender nonconformity is portrayed in art and classical artworks. So up next, we will look at a couple more examples that I found in my research on the Femme Yellow. Uh, but I really wanted to take the time to come here and look at the painting since we are so lucky as to have it um, close to Portland State where I go to school. So one last look at Giuseppe Benito's Il Feminello.